Time for a new Bible journaling process using Illustrated Faith. Hey y'all, I'm Elisa, the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com. And today I am digging into this wonderful new devotional from Illustrated Faith, Joyful Obedience. This is the devotional for March, but I want to say you can do these devotionals whenever the timing is right for you, because there's always something to be gained. I'm going to be working in the book of Philippians today. I have all of the goodies that I haven't used yet from the devotional. Um, so I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. Um, I will link all the supplies that I use. Otherwise, I'm going to put you all on fast forward. Let's go. So I was very struck by a particular passage in this devotional, and it says, we glorify God when we live for him with great delight. We shouldn't serve God out of a sense of duty, although he does meet us in our obedience. We shouldn't serve God in a way that is self-promoting, yet even in that, Christ is still proclaimed. So when we observe that shortcoming in ourselves and in others, we can still give grace and have reason to rejoice. This section really struck me, and of course it's referenced in the beginning of Philippians here, starting in verse 16. And I think it's an important thing as someone that posts online, in all honesty, I talk about my faith online and I want to always continually check myself and check my motivation for what I am sharing. So I knew I wanted to have a longer prayer for this particular section because it really was bringing up a lot of thoughts in my head. And I love the stationary pad that came with the kit this month. I think that is a fun kind of change. So I actually put it at an angle just to make sure it would fit on the page. And now we're just going to play with the stamps. The stamps in this particular set, I love me these layered floral stamps. These are buildable stamps. And so you can see right now, this is the base layer. I'm using a pink. I think this is quiche flamingo or a lighter pink. I'll have to go back and look. I'm not totally sure which one this is. And then I'm going to layer on an orange on top of it. You can see I'm trying to figure out the best way to position this next layer. And it just, it looks so cool. It's so fun. Buildable stamps playing with some of the different color combinations is is just it's just a good time in all honesty i loved setting up my faith planner using those stamps and i knew i was going to use them directly in my bible as well now i'm going to bring in that same orange and add in a few of these florals and then we'll bring in a layer on top of that and later on we'll bring leaves and the whole plan for this is that these are just going to be peeking out from behind the sheet that I plan to do my journaling on. This is one of those examples. This is not a uh, creative process where I'm trying to literally interpret the Bible passage in this way. This is me having fun with some creative supplies in my journal and using it to enhance the thoughts that I want to get down on paper. And I loved that I found this ephemera piece that said, focused on Jesus, the founder and perfecter of our faith, which is something that's really important to me. When I do share faith-based things online, I want them to be motivated in glorifying God, not in bringing glory to myself. And that is sometimes, uh, it can be really distracting when you are creating content online and wanting to create content that attracts likes and that attracts views and does all of that stuff. That's part of my job. But the whole reason I even started this channel years and years ago was to be able to share part of my faith story and part of my faith journey and how my creativity um, was really enhancing that journey. You can see the spread comes together pretty quickly. I want to use this larger ephemera piece down here as kind of the landing point for the focused on Jesus. And then I wanted to bring just a little bit more orange in that section. At this point, I didn't like how it was all blending together, the focused on Jesus. And so you'll see what I ended up deciding to do is to pop that up. Let me get this oriented in the best possible way so that it is not covering up any of the Bible verses that... Um, I may want to be focused on this whole devotional it has a lot of focus in the book of Philippians. And so I want to be careful not to take up more space than intended because I don't know what scriptures I will be wanting to journal on in the near future. So let's get these other ephemera pieces down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to pull out some 
foam tape to put underneath my Focus on Jesus ephemera piece. This is just foam tape from the Dollar Tree. You guys, that is the best place to get foam tape. It comes in three different sizes in one pack for $1.25. I think that that is pretty much impossible to beat. So that is what I use. And yes, it does add a little bit of bulk to the Bible because I use a spiral bound Bible that doesn't bother me um, because it's going to automatically expand when I add that bulk. But if you are using a more traditional book bound Bible, then you may want to skip the foam. All right, so these are some letters that I have left over from older creative retreat kits, and I'm using them to spell out motivation matters. And that is something I always try to think when I am posting on YouTube or posting on Instagram, what is my motivation for posting this, especially when my faith is tied into it. I want it to be there to glorify God and not to kind of attract attention to myself. Once I get those down on the page to make them pop just a little bit more, one of my secrets is always to trace around the letters, even if it's these tile block letters, even if it's full on alpha letters, to trace around them with a black gel pen. And you can see now it's really popping off what is behind it. And I love how it's coming together. So the last little part here is going to be to spend a moment journaling. And this is what I journaled. Dear Lord, when I speak your name, share your story and share how you speak into my life, I pray it would bring you glory. I live my life for you. I do my work for you. And I offer myself as a vessel for your love and light to pour into the spheres around me. Amen. That is going to wrap it up for this Bible journal entry. Uh, you can still pick up this kit over at Illustrated Faith. This is the Joyful Obedience Kit, and it is a good one, you guys. It dives deep, and I'm pretty excited to continue to study it throughout the month. So if you haven't had a chance to pick it up, head on over to Illustrated Faith and check it out. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. Um, and I really appreciate each and every one of you taking the time to watch these videos. It really does mean the world to me. A special shout out to all of my Patreon community. Thank you all for all of your support. You're the ones that are really able to help me make this channel happen. And I just love getting to know you more over on Patreon. If you want to check it out, there's a link to Patreon down below and you can start a seven day free trial today. All right. I hope that you have a fabulous day. And as always, keep it creative.